I guess things are the same here as they are in the UK. One construction worker very badly sweeping the floor and three people stand around and watch him. <laughs> I guess nothing changes. <laughs> I told you today would be different. We're heading to Nijo Castle. Not a temple today. The weather once again is gorgeous. I imagine very soon this jacket will be coming off. Definitely caught the sun yesterday. My forehead's quite red. <laughs> Let's hop over to the castle now and see what's got in store for us. So, I wasn't allowed to film in there, <laughs> but I found out that this castle once belonged to the Shogunate. For those of you who don't know, there was a civil war, and the Shogunate, which is like the military, took power from the Emperor and the Imperial family, which is known as the Edo period. Uh, when they took power, this became the center of the Shogunate's power. It's where they'd meet people. That lasted for just over 250 years before the Shogunate realised that their position was now untenable and they brought back Imperial rule. Once Imperial rule was brought back it was converted into an Imperial villa and went back to the Imperial palace so this became a villa for the Imperial family to use. It was absolutely beautiful inside, so well preserved. The floorboards have eroded over time and they, with the way that they've been constructed it sounds like birds cheeping as you walk over them, which is a really interesting sound. When you were checking on me, I was in between jobs, I was in between the plan I changed. I was trying to see the world, I ain't finna die young. I was singing to the man like me. I was singing to the man like me. Damn what a saint. I was living in my head, but I think it's too loud. Turn down fresh and my trigger. Why I wanna see my nightmare disappear. I was looking through them like damn for the picture. So that was it for the castle. Unfortunately I couldn't film a whole lot. But it was nice enough inside. Nice gardens. One section was completely closed off for repairs, so it's annoying when you spend like nine quid to get in. Heading out to the Imperial Palace. I'm gonna grab a snack on the way. Cause I started to get very hungry. so good. And in Japanese mayo it's just elite kewpie mayo. It's only made with the yolks of the egg. It tastes so good. This is my last full day in Kyoto. So I don't think there'll be a vlog tomorrow. I'll just be traveling to Nara, which isn't that far away, but yeah, it all just depends on if I can find a place to put my bags and stuff when I get there. If you guys are enjoying the content so far, like, please subscribe like the video uh, and also comment. Comments really help push stuff into the algorithm. Just comment anything. Just be the random thing ever. I don't really mind. Just comment something. It'll help push it to other people. It would be greatly appreciated. The Imperial Palace and the National Gardens are just around the corner so let's head there now. My hair is an absolute mess at the moment but I'm trying to grow it out so I don't really want to get it cut and also apparently it's quite expensive here. It's like a whole thing, they make sure they wash all your hair and they give you all fancy products and stuff. <laughs> but I don't really know if I want to do that. Maybe just before we leave I might do. But in the meantime, it's just going to stay as is and it'll be really annoying. <laughs> I can't act on how I feel I struggle sometimes to see the deal Yeah, I know That I'm just being too slow Something that you'll find if you come here is that Japanese people just leave their bikes anywhere. It just doesn't matter. 
they'll just hop off, leave it out the front somewhere, or leave it out the front of a shop, go in, could be half an hour, could be four hours, and it'll still be there when it comes back. That ain't happening in the UK. <laughs> you leave your bike for two seconds and it's gone. Some little scrotes nabbed it, and he's already down the park showing off to his mates. Please tell me in the comments if I'm right or if I'm crazy, but 15 degrees is warm, right? Because I see people, including tourists, walking around in like thick woolen coats with scars and hats on. It's 15 degrees and sunny, it's fucking gorgeous. My mind's always in the wrong places. Oh, can you tell me why? Can't act on how I feel I struggle sometimes to seal the deal Yeah, I know That I'm just being too slow And if you want to call me up and talk, that's fine But when I'm in the room, just know Something that I've come to realise is that A lot of these places do just kind of look the same Like, even though that was the Imperial Palace and it just look like the temples, and the temples kind of look just like it, and the castle kind of looked just like this. Except the castle had some steep walls that you had to walk through. Yeah, it's really nice, don't get me wrong, but I think once you see a few of them, you kind of seen all of them. I think I had the right amount of days ago. I think any longer I would have not started to uh, not enjoy it as much. I've just seen on the map that a few stops on the train, there is some botanical gardens. Only 200 yen to get in, so I'll probably go check that out before heading to the Golden Temple. It is actually golden, unlike the Silver Temple. Hoping to get there around sunset to catch the glow on it. And then we'll probably head to the Onsen. Uh, now, I said I'd explain what Onsens are. It's a public bathhouse, split by gender, and you go in completely starkers. Usually, not like any of you have tattoos, which There is a list of those that do cater to those with tattoos, which is good. So, after a long day out walking, we'll head to that, relax for a few hours. I don't really know how long one's been there. And then, we'll sort out dinner. Most days begin to fade, my feelings begin to fake I'll roam in your mind, lost on mine When I finna break out, niggas take me for a fool But I ain't dropping out of school I ask my mama for a year And if I blow, I leave pursuit So either I torch my room when I ain't feeling so eager I kill my clown summons, I'm on nine Been plying on Virgil's mind, can you wait your turn? And I don't even doubt the vision is somewhat But I'm hoping I feel it different I'm so paranoid like all the time The pressure breaking is taking my disposition Decisions failing to make them like Damn, why do I even try? They say I'm struggling for what I'm feeling some way I hold it, show not to show it I laugh, but felt to even cry I'm losing function, those lyrics I'm talking through them But they just didn't want to listen Like, damn, why do I even try? They looking at me like, damn, why do I even try? And tell me how am I to navigate Waves are crashing on these roads I face I support my head and on my face this is the European garden apparently because we definitely all have those in our garden so that was the botanical gardens uh, they're pretty beautiful. It's just a shame that it's not quite spring yet. It's still technically winter, so a lot of things aren't in bloom yet. But the greenhouse bit was seriously sick. Uh, I don't know if I will include the footage because I did take another shot, but when I first walked in, my lens immediately fogged up. I couldn't see anything. And it was only 200 yen to get in, which is, I think that's like a pound 20, pound 50. I'm gonna grab a cab now because it's an hour walk to the Golden Temple. Cabs are expensive here, but I'm not walking an hour, that's the only option there is. There's no buses, there's no trains. King 
Kakuji. Oh, Kingo, okay. So it was actually gold. What the fuck for that? I just got a Hagen Dazs ice cream sandwich out of the vending machine, which is crazy. Gonna sit in the sun, enjoy this, and head to the onsen. So, this style of tiny car, that style of tiny car, is everywhere in Japan. I mean, you'll walk down any street, you'll just see boom, 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 boom. I mean, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, they're all Japanese made and the government gives you massive tax write-offs. In fact, I don't think you have to pay any tax on them. They're all electric. And because they're all Japanese made, it means the money goes back into the economy. It's a pretty smart decision. <laughs> they're really funny to look at. <laughs> they seem really impractical, but I guess on the small streets of Japan, it makes sense. I always complain in the UK when you see people driving massive 4 by 4s in the middle of town when they clearly do not need it. So makes practical sense, they go for it. Two there, and another one passed me a moment ago. All those there. One there. One there. They're everywhere. I don't want to FaceTime, I don't want to make time, I don't want to give my best to the rest. I don't want to face no time, I'm in love with you, girl, you're in love with me, but you ain't no. Yeah, just say you do. So, I'm at the onsen now. So, that means you are going in. So, that was an amazing experience. Look how red I am. I'm sat in a sauna, in some crazy hot baths, and some freezing colds on as well. Um, I feel so much more relaxed, I feel so good. Gonna go catch the train back home now, charge up my phone and my camera batteries, do it with editing, and then I think we're gonna head to the Geisha district tonight to get some food. They did have this completely insane bath in there. It has an electrical current running through the water. And it, Jesus Christ, it hurts so much. And it physically like stuck my hand in a claw, point, pointing backwards like that. It felt so strange. I mean, maybe it's good for you, but I did not enjoy sitting in that one. The rest of them were all great though. So, just got back, gonna crack on with some editing now before dinner, but I'm very hungry so got myself these steak and garlic crisps and they're absolutely banging, one of the best snacks there is. I will catch up with you guys when we're heading to the Geisha district for dinner. So, I've just got back from the Geisha district. Unfortunately, it seems as if the footage has corrupted, which sucks. So I'm re-recording this outro. I had gyozas, and they were, they were pretty good. I am now absolutely shattered. I'm up reasonably early tomorrow. I need to pack my bags, and I need to check out by 11. 
and then it's about just over an hour on the train to Nara. So, I don't know, I might be able to do some vlogging tomorrow, but we'll probably take a break, take a day off, just relax a bit tomorrow, and then the following day, you'll see some animals in the video. But for the meantime, I'm going to sign off, and I'll see you next time.